here's an update on that motor that I broke when I dropped. What I did is I soldered the broken winding, put heat shrink tubing over it, and then used liquid electrical tape over the windings because some of them were scraped and I didn't want them shorting out at each other. So I did that and uh, the motor runs now. So I'll turn it on real quick. And it runs well. So there you go. Um, this thing is running again. I put it back in the original box fan. Because remember I had swapped the... Uh, well actually I don't know if I got that on video or not. But I swapped the motor out of that one. Which was a diffuser grill model. It broke. And uh, I put, this was the motor out of the diffuser grill when I put it in this box fan. But um, it was causing problems because this one has a really loud cyclic hum and this rotor is actually broken. Um, this shaft will actually be able to move in and out of the rotor. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this one. I'm, well, I'm going to put it back in that box fan. I took it out of originally, but um, this one is not in the best of condition. The bearing is fine, as you can see, but um, and then you know the windings are all fine. But this is uh, why you see two different sets of uh, crimp connectors because of the fact that I uh, swapped the motors twice um, after fixing this one, and it does run perfectly. It doesn't pull any more amps than it's supposed to. Uh, the amp, if you remember the first video I made of this, the amp draw was actually higher than it was supposed to be with this motor. Now it is uh, basically down to um, where it, right where it's supposed to be, which could be due to a lot of different factors, I don't know, but it's running just fine. So I'll put the blade on and we'll be able to listen to it run. Okay, let's start it up on high. So there you go, it's working very well, thank you for watching.